Oh yeah, we, we, we have Zebras too and an alliance and different kinds of uh, monkeys. <laughs> we don't we don't have red pandas. I really would like to see one. They built an Australia themed enclosure recently with kangaroos and koala bears. But it was too many people there, so we didn't get to see the koalas. Did they rehome the pandas to another zoo or did they die? Panas are well. You got to hold the baby. That's amazing. Must have been so cute. a human to that extent. I wonder what is going on here. No hitting the colonists. Even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you order, Commander Shepard. I really like looking at fish. It's so calming. <laughs> Stingrays. How do they feel? Isn't that stressful for the animals? I've seen quite, quite a few turtles, but I don't think they have jellyfish in the zoo I'm usually visiting. <laughs> well, they're pretty relaxed. Incoming! Eat this! 
for the oh, animal snitch. Well, don't care about anything. I think Tails are pretty relaxed too. Or some non venomous snakes. I really got into, well, looking into reptile keeping recently, and I really fell in love with hognose snakes and uh, old pythons. I really want to keep some of those one day. We have got to move one of those cargo blocks. Problem is, I don't have any grenades left. I want to shoot them. Don't have a space for an enclosure that's big enough. Well, I hope one day I'll be able to keep some red cards. I remember when I was in uh, kindergarten, I think. I saw. A milk snake in a terrarium when we uh, made an excursion to the zoo and I really wanted a snake after that. Not that I wasn't not obviously. But I fell in love with, with red parts pretty early. Especially both pythons seem to be really, really chill. Back in elementary school, the mother of one of my classmates had a snake. I never got to see it, but I, but I heard a bit about it, and I really wanted to see it. I never got around to see it, which is really sad. Yeah, I, I saw a lot of people recently in the comments describing snakes as as noodles, which is really really cute. And when I'm a snakes as danger noodles. I'll kill you. Controls are too complex and delicate to operate well in combat. Ah, I need some more grenades. Sometimes people 
cruising for snakes in the wild. I heard goddess snakes are pretty chill too. Why are there any grenades left? Things are just so cute. I really want to get one, but most of them are getting pretty old. With ball pythons, they can get up to 30 years, I think. Negative contact, Shepard. So they're really a lifelong commitment. Before I get any kind of reptile, I I think I need to move in my own apartment because I don't think my parents or my parents in law where we would keep it would be a uh, very well amazed having frozen mice in uh, in the freezers. I really have to shoot this colonist. I was wasting too many grenades. Wait, I'm getting lost again. YouTube channel is it? I've seen a lot of those recently. I think the, f the first reptile channel I followed a few years back was Snake Discovery and I recently discovered Wiccan's Weird Reptile. <laughs> no probe. I never heard of that. This poor colonist. Finally, some action. I'm so sorry. I think we're done here. Recently watched a lot of those snake catching videos. These snakes were just so cute. I'm supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't. Those are some extreme measures. I too recently um, 
found out that lots of snakes just end up in, uh, in animal shelters because people are not ready for such a long commitment. There's a shelter in Munich, I think, that's specialized in, in reptiles. They also have uh, some venomous snakes and yeah, basically they have no space left because they're getting really a, lo a lot of a lot of reptiles from all over the country occasionally because regular shelters don't have the means to take care of reptiles all right we just need to find this creature and determine what what it that is disturbing And lots of ball pythons and corn snakes that just end up there. That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be problematic. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. Eh, okay. I'd rather make a deal. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Real snakes. They're pretty dangerous as far as I know. But they are not really aggressive, aren't they? Mostly like when, well, you are unlucky and are stepping on them. Because they get really loud when they feel threatened. Once watched a video with a rattlesnake in it and the rattling just drowned out all the other voices in the video. I don't think they want to waste energy and or poison on well something that they don't want to eat or that doesn't want to eat them. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground in a new growth! Ah! Oh yeah, I have watched a few videos with King Cobras, they seem, they seem pretty aggressive. Attacks the best defense. That had the desired effect, I believe. 
A few more and it will be severely hurt. To be honest, I'd prefer to deal with an, a python or an anaconda rather than something that's poisonous. Or venomous. Venomous is the right word, right? At least you don't die when they bite you. if I would win a fight, but I think I would have way better chances than with the Cobra. All targets down. I mean, at least you have time dealing with them. In the case they attack you. Once any venom is in your body, you don't have many choices what to do. This moment, the, <laughs> the fight's over. Finally, some action. I think Cobra would be, be too fast for me to react accordingly. It's really impressive though is YouTubers specializing in venomous snakes when they are just evading a bite of a cobra. I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm by far not fast enough. My reaction time is pretty bad. <laughs> How do you out snake the snake? Once the adrenaline kicks in, you'll be able to evade anything. That could be. First, you need time to stay down.
actually pretty angry when he realizes it doesn't have a car. <laughs> That's it. Bag him and tag him. And then you're throwing it like force hammer far away. saw some of those YouTube shorts of Area one of those venomous snake guys, one who called one of his cobras Steve and this cobra just constantly looks like it has some Vietnam flashbacks, like it has seen things too terrible to describe. Kind of water snakes. Are they venomous? Once looked up the regulations of this reptile shelter and whenever you want to adopt something venomous you have to show them proof that you're actually able to deal with this kind of animal like a certificate that you took a course how to deal with venomous snakes Whenever you want to adopt anything, they want pictures of the enclosure and descriptions of do you have any experience keeping those those animals? How do you plan to feed them? What do you want to feed them? What do I have to shoot? They're shooting on something, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what. Recommendations on enclosure sizes. They really want to give the reptiles into a appropriate and loving new home. Are those big snakes? That was rather small. How did I get up there? Huh. Pick up. 
upstairs. Do they like to bite? That's the last one. I don't know how to get there. 